It, it depends on how you were raised. As a parent, I find out later on that my son was drinking before the age of 21, really. Most young people really drink before the age of 21 anyway. As a bar owner, I feel it should stay at 21, even though I know they drank before the age of 21, because I, don't, I really do not want to be responsible, just for insurance purposes. Because sometimes younger people feel, okay, let me, let's live the life, and they're going to drink, they're going to ban drinking, and they're not even thinking about drinking and driving. This is where the, uh, the problem is here. I really do not have um, that a younger crowd. Unless they are with their parents, they will come in. But for some reason, I guess they don't feel comfortable. My clientele is 25 and over. I was in mo mostly 30 and over. I would say graduate students. I do not really have younger students. Yeah. Being that you are originally from another country, mm -hmm. how would you compare the drinking age from where you're from to the drinking age in the United States? In other countries, we drank earlier. Like, I'm from Haiti. Since you're little, I would say 14, you would get a little cremas, which is a little drink with a little alcohol in it. So you're used to it. So you don't make a big deal out of it. I think here, because it is so, such a taboo, that young people will go and binge drink and so forth. If you go to France, you go to Spain, they drink all the time. It's no big deal because they would drink wine with dinner and so forth, so they're used to it. When you make something taboo, uh, you tend to have people tempted to have it. In the past, have you ever had to turn anybody away because they were not of age? Have you ever had to deal with a fake ID? Yes, we did. We do check IDs, and we had to turn people. Uh, some people, uh, for example, we have st uh, somebody came in. He had his ID. All of a sudden, she said, "Oh, she forgot her ID, and she, you know, she left it in her purse, another purse at home, and so forth." And I thought, "Okay, then you can drink ginger ale because we have to be very strict about it." Because of the law, you can, you, know, you can lose your liquor license. Because teens are now trying alcohol at younger ages, do you feel that changing the legal age would have a beneficial outcome or would promote more underage drinkers? If they, even if it turned to 18 and so forth, I think really it comes from the culture, the way the parents talk to the, to the children. The problem you may have with alcohol has to do with your home. The same problem. You may have problem, and you turn into alcohol for that. It's not because uh, the drinking age or the alcohol is there. Yeah, some people turn the, to, uh, the problem into overeating. Some people turn into alcohol. People have to really realize to see it's not the law, but the the family interaction with their children. I am responsible enough to drink, um, but there are certain people who shouldn't have that privilege. I think 21's a good age. I think some people have proved themselves to be responsible enough to drink by that age. But as I said before, there are certain people who really aren't mature enough to handle alcohol and the effects that it has on their body. Kids who are under 18 are already drinking, so I think lowering it wouldn't make a big difference. They have more freedom to drink alcohol than it might affect their grades and they might plummet a lot. Because I feel like I know people who drink a lot and it would just be bad news. My name is Nirvana Taylor Porter. I work for community development at Seton Hall University. In general, do you feel the drinking age should remain at 21, or do you feel it should be lowered or raised? I believe the drinking age is appropriate for the age of 21, um, being the fact that we're living in the United States and so many accidents and drunk driving do take place, I think it's an appropriate age. As an administrative member of Seton Hall University, do 
you feel it is appropriate for students of age to drink on campus? Actually, I don't think it's appropriate for students to drink at all on campus. The reason for that, there's so many various different cultures, so many different backgrounds, and so many different um, people, you know, that actually come on campus. So when you actually make it legal, some family members that don't believe in drinking, actually, um, they can be influenced by other students for drinking. And it just caused a lot of problems, a lot of situations that we can possibly avoid. Do you think the drinking age should be lowered to accommodate college students, being that majority of the student body partake in drinking activities? I don't think it should be lower. I think actually 21 is a good age. Um, it's legal. If they're drinking, they need to go off campus and not on campus. The consequences should be the same, on and off campus. Um, whatever it is, being the fact that so many things take place in colleges and others university, if that particular student transfer, other university are not aware of actually what actually happened. So if it's off campus or whether it's on off campus or on campus, it should remain the same, the consequences, whether it's probation, to their license. Do you feel that it is unfair to those students that are responsible and of age not allowing them to drink because of the other students who are not 21? No, I don't think. I think you should be able, to, when you come to a university, you work together. You're a student body together. You you get to know each other together. And sometimes some person, some people are weaker, some people are stronger. So we have to be able to help one another. So I'm sorry if that 21 year old wants to drink. You know, and that eighteen year old is not, you know, are not is not able to, so no, you know. I think we should all work together when it comes to drinking. Because underage drinking is highly common among college students, do you think it makes more sense to help educate them as opposed to punishing them? I think educating them will be good because I don't think some people know the um, the level of intoxication they can get. I think educating them, teaching them, showing them, actually demonstrating to them various different car accidents and, and so forth, um, bringing that particular car on campus. Drinking and driving, it's, it's a major consequence. Being that there was once a bar on campus, do you feel that bringing back the bar would help lower and monitor the underage drinking on campus while rewarding those of age? I don't think it's gonna make a difference at all. Um, I think people are gonna drink regardless of what, what is underage, um, below age, uh, above age, they're just gonna drink and having it here even though we feel as though we can monitor them, I really feel as though that they're gonna do whatever they wanna to do towards the end anyway. And I find it impossible to monitor every drink, everything that someone takes. If it were to be raised, do you think this will only encourage students to want to drink more? On the age, above age, if they raise the level, I believe students are gonna do whatever they feel like doing. They're gonna drink if they wanna drink, whether they're 16, 14, 15 years old. If they, if they have the desire to actually taste and they're gonna go ahead and pretty much do whatever they wanna do. So raising it or dropping it to a younger level, I really believe people in this society, in this age that we're in, they're gonna do whatever they wanna do.